driven to desperation by the now four-month-long army offensive. Thousands have been fleeing the conflict zone to Russia, forced to leave their lives and homes behind. Maria Finochna reports now from one of the border crossings. In each of these cars, individual stories of anger, uncertainty and loss. These Ukrainians are fleeing their homes for Russia after months of conflict has left well over 1,000 civilians dead and reduced whole cities to rubble. The people in these cars have already spent six or seven hours sitting in line waiting to cross the border, which is still a kilometre away. But they say they are ready to wait, as they practically have no other choice. Many of the cars here have a sign saying they've got children on board. The war doesn't discriminate between age or gender. This is where many refugees will end up when they make it across the border to Russia. And people here are angry. Peter, a doctor, says his family has no home to go back to. He invites me to see where they found shelter. There are so many refugees. Many don't have a proper place to sleep. Peter's wife, also a doctor, tells us how she lost her home. Я не знаю, что это за бомба, которая буквально в течение пяти минут, вернее, в течение двух минут превратила дом в факел. Температура горения была такова, что крошились кирпичи. This camp is designed for a thousand people, but there are at least twice as much here now. Every afternoon, officials manage to send up to 300 refugees from eastern Ukraine to different parts of Russia. But every evening, even more arrive. These people have managed to escape a war, but their fight for a peaceful life is just beginning. Rifnoshnati from Russian-Ukrainian border.